This is the end of uh, the first game for Ace Attorney. That much is known. But how long is this gonna be though? Oh, I wonder how long it's gonna be. That's the only thing. Because we went through like, what, two hours or so last time for it. Um, we did like a day one and day two trial. And I think we're on the day two investigation. Yep. <sighs> Let's get into it, man. We've got a lot ahead of us. Uh, 23rd February 215. Um, that's alright. So, what's going on with the case anyway? Also, I just woke up. Oh my god, like legit. Sorry if I'm slow. I'm a little confused. Ah, well, um, let's see what's going on. The victim, Detective Bruce Goodman, was stabbed to death at 5 p.m. on the after 5 p.m. on the 21st. He died in the prosecutor's park around the police department's evidence room. What's this and the evidence room? What's this ev and the evidence room part? The prosecutor's office and the police department are three minutes apart by car. Well, that's what we're going to find out. I'll try to at least. Alright, let's do it. I'm glad she's in good spirits, but I'm not sure she's going to be much help with this. Don't be so sure, Mr. Wright. Huh? Look, we're in this together, right? I'll prove that these thick room glasses of mine are just for sure. Let's go out to science or witnesses. Alright, well, fuck. And here we are back at the office. The main scene of murder. You know, I really don't think we should worry about the police department. <sighs> there wasn't even a body found there, who cares? Yeah, it was only our victim who's killed in the evidence room now, baby. <laughs> Besides, but this one never do such a thing, I know it. The oil drum was it empty. The oil drum kicked over by a chief prosecutor who was brimming with water. Uh-huh. This is arresting evidence of the crime scene, never. Even though she says they don't get along and really likes the sister. That's not at all, it's just... We're both professionals of what we do and I trust her. It was her high school's room. Well, whether there was blood on the floor or not, the water in the oil drum washed it all away. But ignore the strength of my science at your own peril, Mr. Wright. Oh, she's about to do something. What's that grin for? The situation calls for one thing and that is... Luminal testing fluid. Uh, yep, here we go. She's literally about to reveal whole new evidence that'll help us fight. Luminal. Blood is sticky stuff, you know, you can't just wash it away with a little water. Even if you can't see it, it's still there. Oh. One of the police have done that already. You never trusted it with his eyes, but you're wrong, Mr. Wright. Give it a try. Me? Why? Oh, mine, I can't drink I can't even drink yet. I tested blood saying stuff, not drinking it. <sighs> uh, hey, look, I'll lend you these glasses, huh? You had an extra pair of those things? Oh. Oh, red screen. To test for blood reaction, just spray aluminum on it like this, see? Okay. My eyes, motherfucker. Okay. See if I shine behind those glasses. <laughs> this is a blood stain. It's a. I know you're shaking. It's just this is my first time seeing real blood. <sighs> well. Okay. Well, we definitely know that this is a blood stain, but doesn't stop you strike your odd, scientifically speaking. I guess. What's that about this scientifically? Why the blood stain's location or cause? <laughs> huh? Why is that elementary? I mean, I would think that if it was a fight, you'd expect some blood stains here. I suppose you might think that. Come on, we're all counting on you. Maybe it's the amount of blood that sword? I definitely think so. I mean, look at the blood on the small victims, true. It is pretty strange. I was thinking that, but before here, there'd have, been, have to have been more than this. Hey, Mr. Wright, I'm gonna mark the floor plans when we find bloodstone, okay? Yeah. Okay, yeah, but you are, I guess. Yeah, this stuff's pretty good. I saved on my allowance by that. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's 
Sometimes I feel to mention I've said it was fit with that view of the kids. The stroke that hit it over the saw into the light. Yeah. Oh, uh... Oh, uh... What the fuck do you want? So you're a detective? Look, two years ago. I never will face me. They cropped it up. Alright, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. That's a line. Yeah, we heard that already. Yep. Oh, fault, yeah, I mean, I don't give a fuck about you, though. <laughs> I'm being on the site coming. about this yeah that's all mine it's written that nice and on that note who the head detective on that case I tried to climb the Mm 
Okay, now what? Okay, I think we just have to move. I don't know what else. to do that so i'm just going i just want yeah yeah you could be doing the investigation stuff this guy okay no you know who this is oh my god yeah we gotta get by that door i mean there's a very obvious trap there fuck me what's wrong it's all cocked like this so quickly it's imposing okay <sighs> what i want to know is where's the guard station guard Oh yeah, I wonder who, huh? Who could it be? Got depressing for a second, okay, cool. So we can't go in? What? Oh, there's a toy. Everyone is super serious. Yep, because of the death. <sighs> ah, fuck me. No, because what I don't get is, yeah, we gotta go there, but we literally went there. And what the fuck can we do here? Bro, we can't do anything here. If. What about here? 
Ah, ich will den Quatsch nehmen. Aha. Because what do I do? Alright. Oh, fuck me man. This is brain numbing. I feel like we're not done talking. There we go. Oh, sorry. I'm fucking blunt face. I feel like we might not be done talking to her. She's still here though, no? Like she's still here. What else, bro? Like I gave this, right? I already did this. Right. Oh, this. How would you take that from a guard room? That time, all right. So we have a that. Oh my god, finally! The entry of the master of truth and nothing to them disposable. Two years ago, it was the big, biggest case I've ever handled. Oh, look at this. No, oh, both sides are desperate for evidence and didn't solve it. On the contrary, is solved quite cleanly. The criminal was caught and executed. What? Kill? The criminal goal was contrary, it doesn't get any clean in that the one from world they never did find decisive evidence to not shred. But the criminal was less secure, right? Made of evidence. What? Oh, seven months after the trial, every detective involved with the case was dealt with. Some were demoted to patrolmen, others found themselves out of the job. Oh, wow. Detective Dickhead. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, him. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, he was there. Oh, yeah, that's... I forgot he is just a fucking, you know. No, oh, I didn't want to click it. Oh. Sorry, I was thinking about fucking the other guy, like, uh, how he's just fucking got nothing to do right now. <sighs> no, go fuck me. As professionals, we must get everything every angle. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, well done. I see. I see. Hmm. Oh, well, me what? Yeah. God, okay. Sick lunch, it's you. Did not have to chat. I'm a busy man. It's sick lunch from Lunchland. <laughs> you 
few difference from here. We were through there. We were there. That clone. Okay. Okay. Are you here now? Yeah, so you want to hear more? Head down to the the what? Here? You still? I feel better now. A little. I mean, they called the person who's talking to Godwin, didn't they? Say so they did. Oh. 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 Shit, that's what I'm so that's what I'm saying. Me a perpetrator. I'd say I was against perpetrator, but yeah. That's what I'd say. What? This clown? Oh god. Why is this clown here? There's a guard here. Are they listing him as a killer? Oh, what? Do we have to talk to him? Stop! No, no wonder you look like a fucking goofy cunt. You got no fucking family or friends. Fuck me. Locked out over nothing, okay. Oh my god, stop. I don't care, but I'm not. it's so annoying. It's too annoying. Holy fuck, bro. Bro, why do you have- why is this in the game? It's annoying. Are we done? Are we done? Are we done? Are we done? we're not done. I just wanted to get the fuck out of there, man. something we have to give how about your fucking boy oh, I just why did they have to make this character it's just annoying it's not even funny it's just annoying I'm skipping so much info that I can get back to eventually, but it's just annoying. That's it, right? 
I can't. I couldn't be bothered with that, man. I'm sorry, but that shit was way too fucking annoying to listen to. I couldn't. Why would they have some fucking? Why did they have to make it like that? It's annoying. It's him. This fucking cunt. You sure this is all? You know what this means for anything missing? Okay. Oh, he's doing it as well. Why are you saluting him? <laughs> mm. Why? Next day, fuck you. What do you want me to do? Hmm. No, that's the fucking asshole bullshit. He dated this down before. He said, get back to the fucking what? Oh, you. Can I get permission to get in? Why do you have to wait this animation? She's happy, man. This is an adventure to her. Oh, fuck me. So, this place, right? Alright, use that card on it. How do you punish? <laughs> oh, here you go. Oh, why, what's that? Why does it have to be a loop? We can have some eyes here. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, he let's get the scene crime. Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs>
Mm -hmm. I mean, let's just go in there first before we worry about whatever other bullshit, you know? Uh, okay, February 23, Sector 3. Uh, hello, quiet. There are all sorts of dog shit in here. It really kind of, it's kind of like a graveyard, yep. Missing more from Mog. Uh -huh, you can't scare me here. I'm not trying to do anything. Oh, you're in here? What the fuck? Oh! What? Did she hit him? What the fuck? Oh my god, what is wrong with you? You're just a problem child, fuck me. Is it true? Yes, true, it's the chief of police gun. I don't want anyone 50 bucks even me. Oh, this guy just wants some money. So that's what you're talking about. Actually, I was put in charge of the investigation today. This for today. Boss for the boss for a day. But guess what? You get permission from the chief, so now you're a boss for the day. Okay, okay. So you, uh, you want to have this, you're the sub at the PD. Oh. oh, sorry. So, boss for a day. That's right, it's an honor. After all, the murder took the wrong place, right? You're the PD. But if you're a boss, why are you alone? Why are you under- where are you underlings? They're using us to just find these to prepare for trial. Ah, I know they kicked you out. I'm mad even though I'm going to take control and put this case to rest. With my own evidence locker. You have a locker, do you? <sighs> I'm going to take it off, bro. They gave me a locker that only I could open. Only you can open. Ooh, I wonder. I always believe in Edgeworth no matter what happens. So, Edgeworth is, is being quiet with me. Trying to figure out who's responsible for the mess up in court today. I see. I guess this is what you call fate. Oh, hold on, hold on. Mr. Edward just can't get away from the, that case. That case? Yeah, SM9. That was like the beginning of the uh, end of for Mr. Edward. Maybe we can get him to talk more. The place is more high tech than you think. Every lock is fixed so that only one thing can Oh, using the cards. Yep. That's the thing, ID cards can do lots of that, but I'm on my third card. <laughs> God. But even I can't lose my own right hand. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Two of them are open. The tricky the handles. Oh. Oh, that's actually pretty. Oh, uh, it's wrong person. You get shot. If that's what happened, that hand will be black as fucking every day. In any case, uh, in my there are even some people on the floor that don't know about fingerprint lock. That's actually a pretty sick lock, though. You put your, ha your hand from uh, behind it, and just open the up. That's sick. You could, you would, that's actually pretty, like, uh, a smart way of uh, showing it, really. Oh, no, no, no. Fly to the left. Oh, to the right. What's this? Blood? It's a little warm, but there's definitely a handprint here. Let's try to wipe it off. This is why I left the other blood stairs. Ah. Mm-hmm. Look, this one's open and the red and the oh, I love the light. That look it's quite a good one fingerprint. Ah. But it's hard to get it open again if you close it. I'm 17, I must have taken the contents off. Uh huh. So there's some broken big pieces. And there's blood on it. Okay, so that's the light. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, oh I, wait, I, I gotta do this? <laughs> okay. Uh, so we gotta find the one that fits that. 
Oh, I found it. Uh, right. That one, if I had to guess, would be something like this. Mm. That one. Uh, eh? Eh? Oh, it has to be this one. What sort of pottery? Um, it's not this, is it? It, eh? Uh, Big boy, right? Damn, the pieces of the, they just don't look like as it looks. But there's a piece missing. Is that it? Huh? Well, I think we did it, but some piece missing. Yeah, I was far too in the two minutes myself. The problem is finishing it. Hmm, I bet they're missing to begin with. Yeah, it looks like somebody bopped on somebody's head. And, uh... Uh, yeah, it looks like somebody... Huh. Da, 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 da. Right. So, I feel like that's all, right? Down. <sighs> hmm. I love this. Yeah. I know that's my connection. That was Edward's curse case, you know, two years ago. First time the world knew Edward. Hmm. I guess it's not over. Maybe there's an arsenal loose end, unless in that case. Oh, is that it? What about this? Okay. should be ID, you know what's the welcome to. <laughs> uh, was there anything else? What's this? Uh -huh. Okay, huh? just a little keep on top of that shit, you know?
Uh, what, what is he on about? Why did he change tone on this shit? The book? Why the... Oh, that's probably what it's for. Yeah, that's why it has the prints on it. Oh, oops. <laughs> the kiss. Oh. Oh, the why some of the pieces are missing? Doesn't it seem a little unsteady? No wonder it broke. No, I think that's not to it. I feel like it's a lot more than that. Hmm. Oh. E! I guess that was it, to be honest. It's only one and one thing only. Ah, ah, ah! I knew this is some right spam print. What? Wait, what's the mod detective? This, is, this locker is mine. His? Please, you have to help me when they come take me. <laughs> this fucking guy, man. You'll do that for me, won't you? <laughs> this is an important clue. I'll enjoy telling off walking this year. This guy is obviously not him, man. Why would he? He'd never do anything. This guy is a clown. <sighs> hmm. Oh. Oh. That must have been one massive pool of blood. Ah, oh, okay, no, I'm not professional. What's your opinion, detective? Pale blue blood. Maybe it's just a good one. It was actually an alien. Shut up. Ah. There's some more. Wait a minute. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. I knew it. Ow, ow. Well, I'm getting a reaction here. No need for the murderer to touch this place to out the door. Hmm. That's some pretty main stuff there. What, this? Call a little note test for you. Yeah. Where do you get your hands on that? Huh? I like it. I'm on two. I'll borrow 50 bucks on the chief. <laughs> I always buy it by mail order. Well, I better drop this down with all friends. This is pretty cool, though. Fucking spam that shit, bro. I, I don't think there's anything else here, though. Like, even if a... Uh... I'm just wondering, what else would there be? You know? Brother, brother, this is everything. I swear to you, this is everything. Unless you can just spray and spray forever, and there's no end to it, and you're forever in a loop of spraying. Mm. I think that I think I think that does it for this area, though. I use my mouse. Look at that shit. Pion, 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 pion. Oh, that's plus Q. Gotta make sure. I mean, your hand can only go so far, right? Yeah, I, I, I think that's it. <laughs> I think uh, there's nothing. <laughs> nothing. Ow, goddamn! From that shit, going from that red shit to this. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, here we go. 
Hawk. But rather the body of our kids. But it's murder, a serial killing. Serial killing? Maybe I don't want to get involved in this after all. But the killer made a mistake and Edward built his case around that to nab him. And this was three years ago? That put Edward into a spotlight inside room and nose. It was supposed to be all cleaned up with the transfer of the other day. It was the last job he ever did. Goodman, that is. Ah, what do you mean? Uh, he was detective in charge of the incident. Ah. Uh, uh, is there anything we could even present to this guy? Like. Who? <laughs> oh, fuck me. Oh. I feel like we won't be done here. Let's go back. Alright, listen. Somebody has food for you. Have this food. Reminds me of Texas. <laughs> Ah yes, the Texas. Texas. Ooh. I just have a special I just saw a special on TV the other day. Is it from my baby? Uh Mr. What's this? What's wrong? Oh, it's C yes, S I don't see though. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he's on about. Ask anything, okay. Why do we have this guy? Uh this is the guard station. You chose security evidence room? I oh, got good eyes, it's an easy job. Oh, okay. Meekins at uh, the center told us that poor little doggy. Oh, poor guy. Should get a new name wrong and call him Meekly. Okay. He told me, he said that when he uh, something occurred, you won at your station. Well, maybe I shouldn't tell you this, uh, but since I got demoted, am I not lucky, but I lost my fire for the job? Well, that makes sense. So what are you doing at that time? Okay, I mean... Uh-huh. <laughs> Sneak into your steak. And, uh... You were a detective two years ago. My dream to all uh, to be a rawhide wrangle on the sea, okay. That's all gone now, like a drinking hole in a prairie fire. They still investigated the SL incident with the star at you. Oh, that was my case, it's all solved. I might go, okay, right, okay, okay. We we'll just learned about the case. Yeah, well, we learned about it inside of there. Two days ago, the day of our case. Alright, so tell us the transfer of us. We keep all the evidence from some case in this room. Ah. Ah, oh, it turns out to be wrong. Okay. Okay. Damn. All right. I just said new machines. Okay. Okay. Use this one to understand all these cameras. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you reckon? Oh no my. Oh, look at that. There's two on the same time. Well, uh, how can I present? Um... What's the lady? Yeah. Yeah. Shows that record. 
Yeah, oh well, yeah, he's uh, he's the first one that arrived. Or... Knife at me. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, let's show it to Detective Dickhead. Where is he? Yo, I got you something. People came in for the shopping. Yep. Wow. <laughs> what is it? The second number. It's not your idea, is it? Edgeworth. Edgeworth? What? <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> what is that? Okay. Yeah, well, I, I mean, this guy has got Edgeworth's back since, like, the beginning, man. Like, this guy just, uh... Well, this guy... <laughs> uh, let's go to Edgeworth, then. Yeah, alright. Edgeworth has somebody who's literally always got his back, no matter what. <laughs> Wait, uh, we gotta go from here. On you. Um... All right, Edgeworth. Why are you? Why are you here? Why the fuck are you here? It's you. Have you met? Yeah, I mean, they're standing by the window. Right, he has a hotel. Bring him tea service. <laughs> Edgeworth, you're back from the district uh, prosecutor's office. I am. By the way, Detective Gumtree was looking for you. Oh yes, he brought me the latest information it seems. Really? Was it helpful? Apparently a new French restaurant is opening near here. <laughs> I think he's trying to console me somehow. Why does he make that face? His fucking face when he says something. The real boy's on the other side, Edgeworth. <laughs> Poor Edgeworth, I think this whole thing is really taking toll on him. <laughs> Well, about that committee thing you went to, they decided to treat this as, um, not as a case of concealing evidence, but as a communications error. Oh, okay. Apparently there are some who believe that I concealed evidence. They gave me warning you were lucky this time again. <laughs> again? I've heard them say that so many times. Oh, I was this two years ago case. Yes, I'm fine. Are you okay for the trial tomorrow? I'm still presiding, uh, I'm still the presiding prosecuting attorney. However, something happened? They give control of the investigation over to the PD, what? Oh wow. <sighs> I've never seen this out of this house. He's like, I've done it all for the sake of right. Oh, 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 Alright, I better check this out. Uh, as I was saying... Ah, uh, shit, here we go. What's this? A record of ID card usage. You went to the evidence room that other day, didn't you? This was part of the incident occurred, no less. Yeah, that's true. Why, Mr. Echo? <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I was asked to go by Chief Grant, no less. Oh. The Chief of Police. He wanted evidence for a case that wrapped up h half a year ago, a screwdriver. He, ke he told me he wanted me to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. It was solved, right? It would have to be It would have to be if the evidence was already filed. Jimmy, the one to explain himself, but in any case, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back here. And that's what kind of case it was? I can't say. What? It really has nothing to do with the current case. Why did he make that face? I hate it. <laughs> They could have made him give it any other animation, but why that smirky look? <laughs> now I'm curious about this other case. AI 16. I told you this has nothing to do with the current case. Uh, what else can I show him? What else? What else can I do to make him speak? 
Well, let's start from what's relevant to the case. You don't have to sit here and discuss the case with you over a cup of tea. I'll pass on the tea. Just tell me about the case. <laughs> Just... What side are you on? God damn, this one. Ah, here, best evidence. Maybe the... Um, maybe... Maybe the knife? Nah, maybe not that knife. The other knife. Hmm. I know you, you probably got a hold of some more information already. It all has to do with that case you were on, the SM9 incident. And some dark suspicion you were wrapped up in. You are the man who revived the worst memory of my life. I figured I'd be telling you about this one later. We must be talking about, yeah, that. From the fucking last uh, episode. Okay, Jamas, why do you tell me about it? Tell me the truth. Oh, does he speak now? Talk, talk. The SM9 incident was a hide and serial killing case. And the head of the investigation was the deputy chief of police at the time. Damon Gunn. The lucky old guy. Him. He was top officer and it was my first time working with him. I was nervous. You get nervous too? <laughs> In truth, I used slightly more extreme methods than normal. We were dealing with a vicious murderer. If I let him go, the blood would be on my hands. We won our guilty verdict and the kill was executed. Wait, you didn't. Of course not. I didn't touch the evidence. Yes, I, I will do anything in my power to win the trial. However, I do have a cord and I follow it carefully. By the way, Emma, the chief prosecutor wanted to know something. My sister, what? If you were studying forensic, if you were still studying forensic science. Oh yeah, of course. I had, me and Mr. Wright were using this. Luminol. Ah, here we go. Well then, you might have use for this. Fingerprints. It's been chemically treated for better adhesion. For me? Are you sure? We are the enemy, you know? I'm not saying in today's investigation, do as you will. I'm really- <laughs> no need to thank me. Here, take your powder and these fingerprint files for everyone involved. Oh, thanks. How about giving these to Detective Gumshoe as well? <laughs> hey, we got big stuff! I guess the fingerprints on the lockers will be what we need to check out, right? 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 Uh... Oops, I almost closed the game. <laughs> I almost deleted that my whole part. No! No! <laughs> I almost just fucking fucked myself up there. I wish we could go directly to places without having to go on a trek, you know? Alright, this is it. Our evidence has turned, uh, turned up a suspicious handprint. Oh. Let's use this. It's gonna give me a tutorial. Right, let's get started. A finger. I mean, the most player is finger. Right? The thumbprint. Oh. Okay, now it's time to check. Let me show you how it's done. Alright. Of course, she's super happy about showing this stuff, but <laughs> I don't mind it. How do you do that? This, see? It looks like that did the trick. The part ID is completely to the print. Once the part is well spread, I can just blow away the excess. Huh? How do I do that? With this, you know? I get blown up the pandas on a cake, see? It's fine, it won't blow up your nose or anything. You just pull the part and pick and blow away the extra. I can just do this and be like, boom. How is this, huh? 
Ah, não, não. O... E dele, então, bom, vou... Deixa eu ver que eu vou fazer Nada, eu acho que eu vou fazer um pouco de look. Oh, look! <laughs> hmm. Oh, I see it. I see it. We gotta spam this dust everywhere. So much cork everywhere. Let's go. Oh. Come on, cock it up. Yeah, there we go. Maybe this is not how you're gonna do it, but blow that shit on. Blow that shit. Yeah, oh, oh it was like that. But that's sick though. I wanna do that. I wanna do that for real life though. Quite a process, so no point in finding a fingerprint and not knowing who the owner is, right? Ah, uh, we gotta compare the records. Hmm. Oh, I'm choosing. I want to say. You. <laughs> what is this analysis bullshit? <laughs> Yo, that's sick. What the fuck, man? They got some cool ass system with this game. Aha, uh -huh. so these prints belong to Gumshoe. Something wrong, right? You get me the. There's so what look. I guess it's probably what I was thinking. So we came up with nothing this time, but the whole next time. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. We got it all with the. Punches, that's right. Nice for the sympathy. Wait, if I remember correctly, there was one other hamper in this room. Let's check it out. Yeah. Clearest one would be this. Right? 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 You know, this part? Wait, why can't I? What? What? What about this? So, there's really just nothing here. I, oh, um, oh no, like, move.
Wait, is this all I can do? Wait, no, like, think about it. Is this all that there is? Oh, fuck. use the shit in case we didn't see anything already it has to be that no well it has to be this I don't see any other reason okay I feel like I'm seeing shit, man. My eyes. Like, bro, my, this fucks in my eyes. Like, for real. Bro, where the fuck would I look? Bro, this fucks in my eyes, holy fuck. Oh my god. Realize we didn't do the other fucking fingerprint, right? There's another fingerprint there. Oh my god, bro. Though. I'm so, I'm hella confused. Mm. Did we really investigate everything? Bro, there's a thing there though. Uh, I'm having trouble understanding this. Why can't I use this? need help i need help my brain brain <laughs> bro help me i i, I don't want to spend forever on this bullshit man what what do what am i missing what am i missing because 
I uh I feel like some I feel like something is wrong. I feel like something is majorly wrong here. Is there anything here that we can actually use? I, 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 I'm lost. I'm lost. Nope, nope, nope. I don't know how to do this because um, I'm searching this up. I legit have to. I have to. No way you're telling me to look for something that I can't see. This is a, this is a bad move by the game. I'm sorry. Nope. The, the, that's actually bad design. That's actually bad design. I don't care what's said. It's actually bad design. How the fuck do you remaster a game a million times and you can't fucking sort this out? Like, look, what can I even see? Nothing. But it's apparently this? Oh my god. Which doesn't make sense, you know? I press E. Alright, cool. Okay, so it's him. Alright. Now I'm way too fucking honest about this man. I uh, so uh, I just um uh, okay Marshall. I know what you're doing here. You think uh, the Marshalls? Yes. I'm just pissed right now. So it's actually one of these. So it's actually one of these guys that were actually the case problem. Hmm. I don't believe it. I don't know why you're depressed. Okay, you're friends with literally everybody, and apparently you're everybody. You're on everybody's dick. All right, I don't give a fuck. Please just stop. Like, I don't care about your little. Like, she she has way. She's way too emotional over everything, man. I fucking hate it. It's like she's emotional about one thing, emotional about another, and I'm just like, fuck me, man. Just shush. Alright, day three, trial farmer. Do I really want to start this? Uh, okay, 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 okay. Here we go. By doing this, we're gonna finish this off. I don't give a fuck, bro. If this is, if this is it, this is it. I don't fucking give a shit. Apparently, this is it. February twenty four, nine forty one a.m. So, what do you think, Mister Roy? I think the prosecution is as confused as we are. After all, the victim was murdered in two different places at the same time. And our different suspect was arrested at the age of the scene crime, at crime scenes. Lana, oh yeah, you're here. Good morning, Mr. Wright. I apologize for yesterday, I was indisposed. I hope they didn't hold you too long for questioning. We just finished actually, I'm used to all night as well. But how'd it go? I said, Mr. Wright suspects the police are clueless. I figured as much as I struck a bargain in the plea. Plea bargain? What do you mean by that? We get if I told them the truth behind this simultaneous murder, they wouldn't see capital punishment, that's what I mean. But don't tell me you fit. Uh, yep. Hmm? Mr. Pound trace of evidence of a certain person in the police department's evidence room. They belong to Officer Jake Marshall. What kind of trace of evidence? Bloodstained fingerprints, to be exact. That's the trump card I have up my sleeve today. You don't understand what this means, are you? Yeah. Okay, who cares? You did something. You have to play what we're dealt with, you know, and do what you have to do. Yep. You have to play what we're dealt with, bro. We can't just fucking let people free. 10 a.m., here we go. Uh, what is it? No session for the trial of Miss Lana Wright. Lana, Lana Wright? Lana Sky. Lana Wright, you hold on. Lana Sky. The defense is ready, or not? The prosecution is. Uh, huh? Huh? Okay, you have to be clarified. I take eight minutes by car to reach the police department from the prosecutor's office. Yet yeah, the victim, Bruce Whitman, was slain out of both places at the same time. But that's not physically impossible, possible, is it? Was smart here that a victim from the evidence room had just disappeared? Yes, and the body eventually reappeared in the trunk of Mr. Edwards' car. Wow, this is a mess of trial. What I do is as a prosecutor to present impartial evidence. Today I will present evidence related to the murder of the PD. 
I'm, in so doing so, I believe the way I believe the way in which the we should proceed will reveal the soul. And that's what it says edge with the pie, he turns all on top of things. Even though he doesn't okay, yep, 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 cool. I don't care about extra dialogue. Very well, let's try, let the trial resume. On the day of the crime, what exactly it transpired in the PD? Edgeworth, you may call your first witness to a stand. My first witness, the prosecution calls. Suspect of the murder that occurred at the PD. Suspect? You mean a so-called murderer? Wait, is he gonna bring in the, um... Uh, thing get involved from the get-go? Is he gonna call in what? Oh! <laughs> This clown? No, bro, it's not this clown. Oh my god. Bro, what we gotta do to say it's not this fucking clown, bro? It's just not him. Like, what What makes you think, what makes you think, right, that out of everybody, everybody, he is the one. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. Will the witness please state his name and occupation? I'm <laughs> opposite of Mike Meek in occupation as, um, that would be Madra, so... Uh, this guy's a clown. Oh, <laughs> so you're telling me you're a professional killer, sir. Uh, it was me, so I'm gonna get it. I never killed him. God, I hate this. Uh, bro, no. I'm sorry, listen. One thing I hate in certain games like these is annoying things with this character. A character that's so annoying, and the why is there a screeching feedback noise every time he talks? I hate it. I don't want to listen to the dialogue. I'm sorry. I'm sick of it. Not something I like. Not a fan of it. I would rather skip the dialogue than listen to it. Sorry if that ruins the case. I give zero fucking fucks about that. I'm just gonna fucking go forward with what I'm going forward with, you know? I skipped this whole dialogue in the jail cell. I'll skip it here. I don't give a fuck, bro. Get him out of here. We know it's not him. We can't follow him. Okay. Alright, get on with it. I don't know if I meant to even know what I was trying to do, so I was trying to do so, I was sort of trying to put it off on my life, then I did it. Bro, I just want to press him on that last part, bro. Alright. Oh my god, bro. Just, 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 just go, bro. Let's go. Let's just do the last one, because it's always the last ones, right? Uh huh. Wait, I thought this was the last one. What? Hold on. Oh, fuck it. Oh, what time are you doing consciousness? No offense, uh, how am I supposed to know that? I was unconscious, alright. It was about 5.30. He hit me right in the head too. Oh my god, please stop. <sighs> that was a good one, easy. Alright, let's press him for what it's worth. Uh, I did it. Oh my god, my head! Oh my fucking god. My fucking head hurts from this motherfucker. Just press him on everything. But get rid of him, bro. I don't want him here. He's such a fucking... He's useless. He's useless. I hate him. I hate him. He's fucking useless. Uh, I don't want to know him. I don't give a fuck about him. Uh, yeah, just fuck him. Overall. Just say fuck him. That's it. That's how we do it. Uh, okay. oh, I was about to put some money on security in my room. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, 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 yep. It's, uh, yep. Uh, wait, his thing's not there. Oh my god. Man, I can't do it, man. Even this fucking goofy ass ID card is this fucking. A videotape? Objection. So you have security footage. Oh my god, why? Just just get over with it. Just get over with it. 
I don't want to listen to him anymore, man. Oh, here we go. What is this Five Nights at Freddy's bullshit? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Bro, that's just so... Oh, that's Bruce Goodman. Bro, that's so creepy though. Wait, it has prints on it. Wow, they have all like a 3D thing. Why is a camera spinning? That's so dumb. Like I got knocked out. He didn't even kill nobody, he got knocked the fuck out. I'm so sick of this man. It's so fucking dumb. Why would you have the camera spinning like that? <laughs> no, please get rid of him, bro. He's so useless. He oh my god. Oh, you're not serious, sir. <sighs> bro, I'm just saying now, man. I just don't give a fuck. That's it. That's it. I just don't give a fuck. Must be him? Nah, no, we're pressing on that one for sure. Why the noise, bro? Why the fucking noise? We press on everything, but I feel like the last statements are always a good place to start. Like, for some reason, that's how the pattern has gotten these games, uh, for these, uh, uh, cases. Uh... Please... Yes, there's a problem. I see a fucking little goofy looking face in there. What's the contradiction? Yeah, it could have been someone dressed as him. See, here's what I think, right? You can't get a clear look at his face in either of the... If I, you can't get a clear look at him at all. Point it out. Oh, the lights. The light is on. Yeah, I forgot we learned how this shit works from him. It wouldn't be on if it's not already open. Yep. Look at that, you got a girl in there, and it hits one. I didn't realize. Basically, if the lock is already lit up, then what would that mean? Do we have to watch this? Oh, why can't they just show the most important part? It's already lit. It's lit. Which means, you know, the lock is already open by the victim of the handout. Yep. As simple as it can be. Oops, I just minimize again that thing. What the fuck has this been though? It's very simple. The lock was unlocked and you get the crime. But the locker locks are controlled by a natural system when a door's choice sensor is triggered. 
and the locker is automatically locked. I know it must have been broken down. I'm not an expert on this. That's not likely to be the sense of a detective and the report of my fortune. Hmm. I'm not sure to keep them out, but so then, right? Do you have an explanation? Me? Yeah, why wasn't the lock locked? Uh. You see, this isn't exactly my feel. What do you think, Miss Scientific Investigator? Uh, maybe something like that jam systems center is jammed? There's something else that seems out of place in this video. Alright, here we go. Black space is a pause button? What? If only I knew that. Oh no, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I'm oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I've probably got a penalty for this. Sorry. I'm a minute fast forward, bro. Whoa. That creepy fucking thing, man. Oh. Take that! We watched Glossy. This is the continuation of the part I showed you earlier. Mm hmm. You really have to watch all this shit. Really? <sighs> oh. Hold on, sorry. I just chopped up for a second. What's this? Something white fell out the locker. But sir, it's been in my experience that things fall out when doors are open. After fall out, oh, shut up, bro. You can't be sure the item was going to be inside the lock to begin with. What do you mean? That says it triggers the lock when the door. Uh, triggers the lock when the door is shut. It works something was inside, sir, so between the door sensor and the door. In inside. Ah, so then it's uh, it's not really closed. It's actually open the whole time. This white thing wasn't inside the locker, it was between the- Ah, yep. Alright, shut up. No, that would need to be an insulator. There might have been something that fits the description. I got this figured out. Mm. What was this insulator that was stuck in the locker door? Oh, my neck, hold on. Well I'm sure that was a, uh, in the victim's locker. It, was, it has a tag that says SL9. Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems to depict the victim up in the locker. Right, in the case, the lit lamp attests to this. Mm -hmm. On the day of this crime, I could have opened that locker. If not, is this not so? If this is not so, yep. Is this not so? Yep. What the fuck? Oh my god. Uh, alright, alright. So we have to believe that the victim up here is not Detective Goodman? What if it was Goodman actually dressed as him? Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. After the makers... Oh, fuck me. Here we go again. I'm not sure what you're referring to. Mm. Oh, fuck me. He's such a clown. Is this a joke? Uh, another one? I don't want to do it, man. Not with this guy. <laughs> There's one other thing that proves that Goodman was uh, the detective. To enter the evidence, to enter, you need the ID card. The record of it. Mm. An ID record. Well, what if you lost the card? You know? Oh, wow, look at that. Wait, we don't know who the top one is. Somebody else we haven't seen. Oh. What if that was actually uh, Marshall's, you know? Well, one thing we just reckon is it was 700 cases that should have been due for transfer, though. Why were there so few people in this room? Oh, special cases. 
extremely violent case and police and stuff. Uh, hmm, the only few cases for transfer will die are most will clear by noon. Alright, cross exam. Uh, I don't think there's anything we can really say here. Wait, he said like if he. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Because I am. <sighs> it's a lost item. He probably lost his card. Let's try it. Ah, that worked. Oh shit, that worked. Wait one moment, Officer Meekins. Oh, so fucking blank out. I'm not good. Okay. I have the victim ID right here. I found it at the crime scene. That makes sense. When I say crime scene, I'm not referring to the evidence room, PD. I mean the other scene, the underground parking lot. Hmm? Yeah, now one more piece of evidence. It's a very important clue regarding the victim's ID. Well, sorry, but it's only happy, but it shows that I think a good man had lost something on the day of the crime. Something important enough to fill out his report. Let me guess, you believe that someone was an ID card? I can't say for sure, but that's the high probability. On the day of the crime, Goodman was not carrying his card. Mm -hmm. So what does this all mean? It could only mean one thing, it was even a quiet much though. We don't even see the faces and stuff, man. The man uh, he, he encountered in the room was not Goodman, but the man who stole the ID card. Uh, does the person even have a response? I have only one thing to say to the defense. Bravo, Mr. Wright. Bravo? What? Allow me to summarize the defense's argument. At 5.15 on the day of the crime. The man in the evidence room meekly encountered a uh, uh, fake goodman. There are two grounds to support this. The locker room evidence was uh, the uh, locker evidence room was already unlocked. Second, the victim lost his ID card. Am I the correct so far? Yes. Well, what's he up to? Not being the case, we must never we arrive at a single conclusion. If the victim in this video is a fake, then the murder in the evidence room is also a fake. In other words, the security camera does not show the incident of the murder. Uh, that's... well I guess that's right. <laughs> is something wrong? Only moments ago you seemed punching about to be putting your finger on. This isn't going to end very well. <laughs> well, it seems you finally realize exactly what you want to such lengths to prove. Explain yourself, Edgeworth. The defense has already done the explaining for me. The victim in this video is a fake, which means the murder did not take place. At the police department at 5 in the day of the crime, so the real crime could only take place at one location, the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The murder being the murder being Miss Lana. Hmm? The evidence is compelling. A trustworthy witness observed the moment the defendant used the weapon. Ah shit, well they kinda have it up for us right now. It's, it's kinda good for us. I knew that first money was way too shabby, it was all a trap from the beginning. Man. The activity in the evidence room still leaves many unanswered questions. Who exactly was the victim of the week in the town? Why did this person disappear to? However, this trial's purpose examined only the murder of Detective Goodman. Just so you hear, Your Honor, Mr. Ray, I have to do something. We gotta let him know. We never wait. There's no point waiting. One moment. Your Honor, what now, Mr. Wright? Don't tell me you're proving. Uh, uh, of course not, but I almost walked right into your prosecution's trap. What are you talking about? This cross-exam has proven only one thing and one thing only. <laughs> that fucking 3D shit though, that's pretty sick. <laughs> the security video did not show the actual murder. Oh, fuck. Ah, it's stuffed into that locker. However, it cannot be said that it's unrelated to the murder in the parking lot. Yeah, he stuffed that shit in there real quickly. Hmm, those have large amounts of blood trails were found in the evidence room. The offensive bounce further examination to the truth in the matter. Mr. Edward, yes, Your Honor? If this part were to examine this further, other witnesses would be necessary. Is the prosecutor prepared? I'm sorry, Your Honor, the prosecutor considered the incident at the PD to be unrelated. We have not prepared a witness for this incident. Hmm, this just might be the chance. It's time to call a certain Texas Ranger to the sun. That's right, do you mean? Your Honor, the defense would like to request a specific witness. Oh, whom do you have in mind? So we have reason to believe who knows the truth. The truth behind uh, the activity that took place in the uh, evidence room. The prosecutor requests to hear this person's name before deciding whether or not to comply. Well, well then, Mr. Wright. 
the person you are, but Dr. Sawyer, what is his or her name? It's you! <laughs> Can you imagine? It's you, motherfucker. Officer Jack Marshall. Why him? I can't uh, let Edward know everything just yet. He's in charge of the evidence room. I feel we should hear uh, what he has to say. The prosecutor agrees to a defense request. Since he was responsible for guarding the room, we should hear his testimony. Fortunately, he works in the PD. We shouldn't need no longer than 20 minutes to prepare. Mm. Oh, is it going to be a John? Very well, the call will take a 30 minute recess while we, the witnesses, sub Uh, well, the prosecutor, please prepare the witness during this time. Okay, here we will. The call is now in recess. Oh, okay. Just to recall, little fan lobby number two. There's no stop for you, is there, Mr. Wright, huh? What do you mean? You call for Jake Marshall. She seems to be figured everything out. I haven't figured out everything, though. Donna, you're the one who knows everything. Emma, you always know everything. Why don't you just tell us? Mr. Wright is trying his hardest to protect you. I, I don't recall ever asking for his protection. How can you be so cold? Don't you trust me? Don't you trust us? I said the buckles. <laughs> oh, we're not interrupting anything. <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> Oh, I guess I have. I'll come back later. <laughs> Wait, the detective ticket, what is it? You got a lot of nerve, pal, making a record run around while, while on duty. And the topic after you called me here, I've seen happier few people at funerals. Sorry, detective. You better be, pal. Hey, hey. I didn't see you there, CP Sky. That's okay, so have you brought what I asked? Oh. Fuck. <coughs> He's laughing real fucking hard. You mean this, right? I apologize, Detective. You took my present circle that I was forced to use in Mr. Wright's name when making my request. My name? Never really, but I thought it was you who asked me. Could I bother you to bring me the SL9 incident files? I'll need them by noon. Talk about crazy. <laughs> the SL9. But about it, it's literally like an Edgeworth part 2, bro. We're going back to a previous case. Rana, that's. I thought Mr. Wright might need them, so I've been brought here. Yeah, you might do well to read them. I can't believe you, because you feel you were a witness in that case. Was a witness? Files for the Joe Dark killings. Who the fuck is Joe Dark? Take it from me, you don't want anything to do with zero murders. What, now that I've brought you your stuff, you're just gonna ignore me? Emma? But why? Why is your name on here? Wait, her name? My name's in there? I don't know, unless... No, it couldn't be like this s incident. Is that... That's the classification number the police filed it under. Two years ago, the rest of the world knew it as the Joe Dark killings. The Joe Dark? No, Lana. That's over with. Oh, no, she doesn't like it. Oh, I think she just died. Okay, no, she ran away. You know what? I just remembered. I gotta go got be somewhere. Sorry, but I'm out of here. Jack Marshall and started dumb and gotten Miles Edgeworth. Not to mention Lana and Emma. Everyone involved in this case is connected to those killings two years ago. That's insane. This can't be just a coincidence. Knowing you, you just might figure it out. Might be able to figure it out. Time to get back to the trial, Mr. Doctor, right? That's a look. I better take a quick look at this file. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me, man. So now we have to. Hey, hey, now we have to go through the Marshall's testimony. Yes, save the progress. Listen, if there is a... I think there might very well be more to this. But, um... Listen, I'll finish off this trial and then I'm going to wrap it up. Because, bro, um... Oh. I, I don't think I can go all the way through. This is a long ass fucking case. Like, I saw somebody who has the entire video, like, when I was trying to figure out, okay, how do I figure out that fucking blood print thing, right? The guy's video was seven hours, bro. This shit's long as fuck. So, um, yeah. I'm probably just, just gonna, <laughs> probably just gonna have to, what do you call it, wrap it up um, soon enough. Well, I guess this looks like it might be a three part other than, yeah. If this, uh, if this, this definitely isn't the end of the trial, they always like to extend this to the fourth day. So, let's expect a, a, another investigation, another trial after this trial is done, though. This day trial. 12.00 p.m., February 24. Here we go again. Or one on one.
I will now reconvene for the trial of Miss Falana. Sorry. I'm going to come back, I guess. <laughs> Allow me to call the next witness. Officer in charge of the dungeon. Okay, okay, basically, Marshal. Okay. Witness, please state your name and occupation. Here we go. He's fucking drinking. See, uh, fuck me, this guy. Occasionally helping the elderly cross intersections when needed. Yes, we get it. Okay. Oh, no, you're a patrolman. Ask for my name if you listen hard enough, you can hear it hard. Okay. It's Jake Marshall, your calling ring. I've never heard it described that way before. Now, Mr. Marshall, let me ask you something. You were in charge of guarding the evidence room on the day of the crime took place. This is this correct? Found the papers. What do you mean? I just brought this all in as well as a class as a dirt. So. I don't speak English, motherfucker. Get on with this quickly, shut up. In plain old English, that's what I'm saying, bro. Fuck me. My job is to be, keep wary. Okay. Uh, what? What? Ah. Uh. Bro. Okay, what? Wait a minute. What do you mean by two security systems? I mean, the security comes in the ID card reader. I reckon even I can't. Uh. What about those fingerprint activated locks in the evidence room? I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah. Uh, fingerprint activated locks, what kind of. He's not being very helpful. This one seems like trouble. <laughs> yeah, you tell me. He's all yells, right? Uh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. It went down. Oh no, you won. You have your fucking fingerprints, bro. Officer Marshall, doesn't this strike you as odd? That is, you've been called in to testify like this. After all, you are in the security room at the time of the crime. You dragged me down here. Explain yourself. <laughs> it's quite simple. You left a very large trail behind at the scene. Ought to be except a handprint. Just some real good. Like I said, I'm a caretaker of that group. I pay my respect that is my uh, making that is making rounds about once a month. Uh, uh, bloody fingerprints, so only, only, I only wish it were, officer. But you see, your fingerprints were covered in blood. Mm. Wait, what's the meaning of this? Your blood sense fingerprints were at the crime scene? The blood was wiped away, however. A luminal test to clearly reveal this. Well, officer marshal, it seems to me that in a person in this room with the head and the shoulders, what? I take it you have an explanation then? About the blood stained fingerprints. Where will you begin your testimony about the fingerprints found at the scene of the crime? <laughs> this is, come on, bro. Like I said, it's only natural for fingerprints to be the evidence room. One of them just happened to be at the same place as a blood stained handprint. The murderer touched the locker where my fingerprint was by chance. The blood stains and the fingerprint are completely under. I don't think that's how it works, man. I'm gonna have to press this motherfucker like a motherfucker, right? Alright. <sighs> Let's just press it, ass. Uh, Let's just press everything, to be honest. Might get something. That's because of you, you, how you, how did you put it? Pay your respects unto mum? Yeah, that's right, that one more thing, that locker happens to be mine. Oh, what? Oh, so it was his locker, I mean, that's the only way it could open. What, I mean, I mean what I said.
Hold on, sorry. I, I just gotta pop some out. Oh, oh, no, no. There we go. Sorry, I just have to have some uh, display. It would be strange if my parents weren't all over that locker. Probably he's thinking that I was never removing that locker programming. He must have been using the thing to lock all that time without having knowing it. Well, this happened to be at the same place as the bloodstone hunting. Ah, uh, well, I guess we can't cover that. What do you know? I'm gonna be a lot of assholes in my dark people from the past. There was a blood stain at the scene thought to be left by the murderer. That's right, it was found in the Gumshoe's locker though. Not from good parents were detected and that happened when. Oh yeah, I think we tried that too. Oh, I mean, the murderer was wearing gloves, have to be at the place on top of. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That's the only logical. Are you starting to get the picture? Hmm? The picture? This seal of blood in the. Uh, there's only one reality, and that's this. The security tape. Well, uh, your trail isn't there. We saw you stuff the fucking coat into your locker. It was you, though. Want to tie me to this case? Isn't that right? Yep. We saw. That was his new statement he made. But that video is next to is next to useless. It's full of blind spots. Blind spots? Places you can't see. The camera's panning back and forth. So, yep, uh, that's what I'm saying. If someone was familiar with the camera's position, they could leave the room without being caught on the tape. Mm -hmm. mm, Show sure evidence. Okay. So, it's basically... Yeah. Basically, when the court is in that fucking locker, man. We know, we know, come on. Show me. Yep, yep. The clown control comes in. Clown control gets to beat the fuck up, though. What? Oh my god, I tried to pause, I press... <sighs> uh, it's backspace, not enter. I mean, not enter, I mean, uh, space bar. What? I hate this, this is all shit. Mm-hmm. Bringing our attention back to the security camera is a mistake I'm afraid you'll soon not forget, Officer Marshall. The days are short, okay. Can you tell me what, what you have to say now, Rosalus? <laughs> Very well. You can clearly be seen in this video. Uh, that is eight words. Exactly eight words, not bad. The key lies in a certain locker shown in the video. Mm -hmm. That locker with the white cloth sticking out, it, that's what the, Well, that was what the witnesses that I believe. Now then, uh, let's rewind the video a bit. Yep. So slow. It'll take a minute. We're getting there. We're getting there. Mm hmm. Boom! It's not there. Oh, the white cloth is gone. The meaning of this, Marshall. When the crime took place, the white cloth wasn't there. Then it's only appeared that's only an explanation. Of the marshal, you were in the evidence room at the time of the crime. What's more, you opened your locker when the camera was turned around. 
order, order. It would see that's all your horses. Sorry, but you got the wrong man. Huh? Oh, I thought Lockwood was open. That doesn't mean I'm the one who opened it. No matter when you to hide something until you open it. Wait, what? It's not my fault he happened to choose mine. What? Why is everyone staring at me like I'm a wanted man? Bro, this guy is just plain dumb. He really doesn't know. He really doesn't know. But you're the only person who can open that particular locker. Oh yeah? I call your bluff. You set off that locker, prove it. Oh, fuck. Uh, that a fingerprint sensor? We talked about this earlier today. The locker can be opened by the detective they are belong to. What kind of credit talk is this? <laughs> He's sweating bullets. Oh shit! Luckily, Gumshu didn't mention something about this. In any case, the lockers aren't that obvious. There are even some people on the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. Mm -hmm. So, sheriff. What do you have to say in it was or less? <laughs> uh, buying on the fucking thing. I only got one more for you. No! <laughs> what the hell? No! <laughs> Bro, shut up. Wait, let's explain yourself. It isn't a joke as to what I've heard. I assure you this is not a joke, Marco. Now then, please tell us what you were doing in the evidence room at the time of the crime. Oh, Leia, please answer the question. <laughs> what is he now, Bob? <laughs> that's right. Uh, that's all right, Officer Marshall. I believe we can figure the rest out from here. We can. Have a look at these floor plans. Mm -hmm. There's no place for someone to hide in the evidence room. Yeah, Officer Mika didn't see Officer Marshalls. If so, if that's so, then... Hmm. It seems this right as an answer. Mm -hmm. That's right, the only possible conclusion. Then let's hear it. Where was Officer? Here? Oh, the marshal was standing right here. There, but that's... That's where a victim, Goodman, uh... Well, Goodman was. Correct, unless the man wasn't Victor, wasn't Detective Goodman. I believe the victim in this video is the Officer Marshal. Was you dressed up like the detective Goodman? Mm. But that's preposterous. Of the Mika witnesses the detective of the crime scene. Once he saw the man's face, he did not for sure. May I point out though that Mika did not know uh, Detective Goodman. He also testified about uh, the man's reaction when he confronted. When I entered, uh, asked him to show his card. He just fucking pulled the blade on him. Oh my god, fuck her. What about the officer's story puzzled me. If the man had his ID card, why didn't he just show it? He would have needed it to enter the room. It was true, so he must have been carrying it. The answer is simple, he couldn't show it. As you can see, Goodman's picture is on his ID card. Yep. If he showed that, his pulled would have been Meekins realized the man wasn't Detective Goodman. Do you have anything to say, Marshal? <laughs> You've got quite an imagination. We got a term, it's called circumstantial evidence. Strong to manage it. You're gonna have to do better than that. Unless you have half evidence proven I dressed up as a victim. I can say I fuck up. I can't say I particularly care for your quality disposition. I can't say I care for your beard, but you can't. Again! Do you have any evidence proven? <laughs> Shut it out. That Austin Marshall dressed up as a victim? Well, not any evidence like that. I can see the fear in your eyes. Seems so you're the one. Okay. This fucking guy. It's so obvious he's like, what can I do? It looks like your lack of experience is finally been exposed. I'll pass on to you some uh, what someone told me when I was start, just starting out. When you've run into a wall, there's no place to go. Return to the basics. The basics. Mm. Oh, you again. Uh, well, I guess it just much shows it in the video. Why do you think this locker was open in the first place? What do you mean? There's no reason for Marshall to open his locker at the time of the crime. Yeah, he did. Hit. Yeah, he did. Despite the chance he might be discovered later, but he had been. Which means he didn't originally plan to open his locker. Mm. I can't defend this argument. 
Officer Jake Marshall dressed up as Detective Goodman at the time of the crime. Then after the crime was committed, he opened his own locker for some unknown reason. The fact that a white cloth is sticking out of this thing seems to indicate he opened it in order to put the cloth inside. So, this was exactly this cloth, perhaps? Perhaps the video is the answer to all our answers. Uh, okay. Wait, what's this blood on the clothing? Take a look. Somebody who disguised himself as Detective Goodman. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, there we go. Yeah. However, something unexpected happened. Officer Mika barging on you when asked to show your ID card, you pulled a knife on him. However, Mika's panicked, and the white coat you were wearing was soiled with blood. A bloody white coat. Mm, you could have just walked out like that, so you hid the coat in your locker. Ah, yeah, you would have been fucked up. Not bad. <laughs> you got all serious tone looking as well. You could see his eyes and everything. Now then, Officer Marshall, are you ready to tell us the truth? Looks like I'm this maybe all. Hope you're happy now, Edgeworth. Three years ago, if you were only half as persistent then as you are today, we all wouldn't have to be here now, would we? Ah, uh, SL9, here we go. Tell the call what you did, all of it. All right, it seems the time has come. Oh, we're gonna have to cross examine the shit. Ah, oh, do we let it? I can just stand by let it die. I have to hold the lady can just like him. Plan to take out the evidence as expected. Not to make him stop after the mall. I managed to escape. I knew the trail would be caught on camera. Not when any murder on in the evidence room at 15. Hmm? But the one thing I still don't understand, Trace, a large quantity of blood were found on the floor. Yeah, if no one was murdered, then who could it, how could it that be? He managed to quit his own hand. I guess this he's the donor. Uh... Yep. I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck. Let's just spam it. You say it, hey, you mean you. You even have to ask? Hmm. We can bring up SL9 in this way, right? If we just press it. Because of those, okay, yeah. Mm hmm. Why does it care so much about it? Wait, did I skip the first one? No, I didn't. Why did you disguise yourself as Goodman? If I didn't make it look like Goodman's coming with the evidence transferal, I'd be arrested for seeing evidence. Do you to full the security camera and the the ID card? That's all out the one of the incident. Okay. I turned his ID card, I left it on the floor in the park and lot. Oh, what? Wait, you managed to succeed despite your lack of foresight. Oh, what do you mean? I mean, the fingerprint activated lock and pass. No matter how well you disguise yourself, you can't change your fingerprints. Under normal circumstances, you wouldn't have been able to open that locker yourself. But he could have, but he couldn't because the rubber glove just happened to get stuck in the door. That was just unfortunate. That means you must have opened the locker before, Officer Marshall. That's the dumbest fucking mistake of your life. But just press to everything. He pulled a knife on the officer and tried to drive him off. Let's say uh, I was a little surprised. I planned on being in the room for no more than five minutes, and I think I could have came in for such a short amount of time. One in a million type of person, yep. He's a fucking clown, a buzzer. Mistaken and protected for an intruder, huh? I'll have to think a little more about his race this year. When did Edgeworth get so much influence? <laughs> anyway, he threw himself at me and I uh, ended up quitting him slightly. Sorry, I had to turn out that way, with me knocking him out and everything. What happened to your knife? Oh, you mean this one? I don't know what to say. Hmm? So you knocked off some beacons out and... Managed to escape. Hmm? So you did your research before? Those people are going... Okay. I don't think it would make a difference though. Uh, it all have gone to plan. No fight would have been left. Six hours, however. What did you call it? They struggle with beacons. Hmm? Yep, I'll have a look and snatch it in there. Oh, yep. Or else he was sleeping like a baby, so what you're saying on that day is... That was a murder. 
the blood upon the sun the scene certainly indicates a crime took place. Are you blind? I we took sure this here was me, and I'm not dead yet. But you stole the evidence from the locker. Actually, no, I didn't. Huh? Why not? When I opened the locker, the evidence was already gone. Edgeworth, where is that evidence? It's still missing, you know. Huh? But the locker was already empty. Someone else stole the evidence. Officer Marshall, may I ask you one thing? Fire away. Why did you do this? Stealing a detective's ID, injuring an officer. There's no, that is no small offence. Moreover, you're an officer yourself. This is, will have a serious consequence. It can't be forgiven with a simple cut in salary. Not that salary cuts. Not that salary cuts are ever a valid, a valid solution. <laughs> SL9 is what it's going to come to. This isn't your case. This one is mine. Well, I mean, right, well, not anymore. I will do anything it takes to get an answer I'm satisfied with. Hmm. You might have an unusual amount of zeal, let's hear it more. Alright. You know why? Why? But that case was solved two years ago, wasn't it? That's the reason the evidence was stolen in the evidence room. Joe Dark was convicted for his crimes. One thing I can say for sure is he deserved his sentence. The majority of the case involves serial murders, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. I don't tend to complain about how it turned out, but there's something that still bothers me. Something went down at that trial. Something no one will talk about. What happened? I don't know, that's what I'm trying to find out. Mm -hmm. Why are you so concerned with that incident? Hmm. What about reenact something that's some bullshit? <laughs> I'd better take a look. Files. I have to probably present. Objection. There we go. Officer Marshall, I think I understand. I think I know why you are so why you care so much. Felt like you've been sucking too much. <laughs> okay. I have the SL9 file right here. The name, Marshall, is mentioned in here. Hmm. A yeah, list of murder victims. Neil Marshall, are you related to this man? Oh, wait. Neil Marshall? Yeah, I'm sure you've heard the name two years ago. Oh. He received the same lousy prosecutor award you got. Oh, what? You must be talking about the King of Prosecutors. Now I remember, Prosecutor Neil Marshall. He handled the SL9 case before I did. That's right, he was killed. The case fell into your hands. What's his relation to you? Um, he was my brother. I mean, they called Marshalls, right? <laughs> Both of them have the name. He was investigating the murder with Devon Gunn, the deputy chief. Oh, well. The group of detectives I was part of worked under them. We were desperate to prosecute the killer. Oh, this fucking guy looks, uh... My brother thought Dark was killed. What the fuck? That was the first time Dark left behind any evidence. That was all we needed. That's fucked up. He was a grain arraigned from... Uh, arraigned and incarcerated the case of final clause, at least according to the club at the house. What do you mean? My brother couldn't have been killed by Joe Dark. I knew my brother better than anyone. No one could have been a better fighter than him. And that's it? That's your reason for your insane actions? That's more to my brother's death than what the records say. No matter how much you try to hide it, you can't fool me. Well, at least one thing's for certain. Now we know what happened at the PD on the day of the crime. That was the last day of the SL case could be reopened. That's probably what he was trying to do. Not satisfied with the resolution of the Marshall point of seal evidence. This guy himself was good when he entered the evidence room. He just happened to be there, so he rendered him conscious and fled. That was just the most unfortunate thing for him. Yes, the mystery has finally been cleared up. You know what took place at the PD that day? Mm hmm, it was all a lie. Right, the things that happened by chance never ceased to amaze. Mm hmm. At the exact same time as the murder at the prosecutor's office, this fake murder was going on at the PD. Mm hmm. Chance has got to be more than just that. What if Goodman was killed because he killed uh, the Marshal Neil? 
So if no one was murdered at the PD at the time, that means the murder in the prosecutor was the real one. Yep. Which in turn means only one person could have committed the crime. Lana Sky. Hmm. But wait, a verdict I wasn't reaching yesterday's trial. Which is why we examined the incident at the PD today. But there's only one reason the defendant was not convicted yesterday. They yet to the mystery of the simultaneous murder at the PD. PD. It seems to me the advice about the draw on you. <laughs> okay. All the mysteries at the PD have been resolved, no doubt about it. A small murder took place at the PD at the prosecutor's office, the only suspect of Lance Sky. The testimony of one angel saw is completely incontestable. The others won't make it a single word or less. Objection! <laughs> the objection, that's one word. Don't bow, you clown. No, no, I'll tell you one word. No, no. No. There's no doubt what I proved today is true. The part of murder is Mitsuku Kram temporarily was fake. I didn't realize that would end up proving Lana guilty. Now then, the time for the murder has arrived. This court will find the defendant. Oh, 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 you! What are you doing there? Emma, the defense an objection, a scientific objection. Right? What do you mean, right? Are you this girl's guardian, Your Honor? Uh, in a sense. All I must say is for a minute of your time, please see me out. Mr. Edward, please. I don't want to leave any loose ends. You want a minute? I'll give you three. <laughs> okay. I was kind of in shock of you finding out that some of that incident referred to the Joe Dark killings. Oh, that she mentions it. The names of both Sky and sisters were in there. Yep. That's when I figured it out. I mean, what Officer Marshall was trying to do that day, so I knew his fingerprints had nothing to do with the crime. That left only one thing, the other handprint. You mean the trace of blood found on Detective Locker? But no fingers were found in it, right? No, but I figured uh, if I examined it scientifically, I'd be sure to find a clue. So I ran it over it and looked at it again. Wait, did you find someone? Oh, uh, no. Huh? Sorry, I guess I'm not much of an investigator after all. Um, is that all? Please don't mind this high school student. <laughs> and I'm just an attorney. But Mr. Wright, those traces of blood are the only clue we have. If you can't find something wrong with them, please, Mr. Wright, you're a professional. If anyone can save them, it's you. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, fine. <laughs> Time's up now, then, Mr. Wright. With regard to the incident, the police don't have a reasonable doubt claim. There appears that it has been stolen by the other blood mark. Mm hmm. Hmm. Come on. We gotta say it. I got all the ears, you don't know. Uh, what could be wrong with the hamper on the ground with the water? This handprint left at the crime scene clearly show the contradiction. <laughs> what contradiction, though? The only thing that seems clear is your grasp, Mr. Wright. You've been turning pretty intently at this far point. Tell me, is there a problem with them? Uh... The blue badger. That shit was in front of the locker, no? Yes, yeah, something that uh, uh, went wrong with completely changed the meaning of the blood mark. Mm -hmm. Ew. Why is it broken as well? What about that plywood? The blue badger must get the police force, defender of the truth, garden and proof. Explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Please look at the floor plans. Blue badger's not here, so. So watch what happens when you put him in. Ah. Well. Well, what? <laughs> He's like. <gasps> That's right, so look at the blue badger's results in there. It would be impossible to put the hamper at the locker. What? <laughs> He's dying. This guy's whole fucking clothes fly as well when he does that. That means, just what does that mean? <laughs> it means it can't be done. What are you saying? Blood trace with the underlying corner of the locker. Don't look at me, I didn't put that there. 
think it through scientifically on the, on the afternoon. After you put it down, it would be impossible to leave a hamper in that locker. Hmm. So that must mean this blood mark was left there before the blue body was brought in? Just for one, I will not allow such far-fetched balls to shit in my courtroom. You're bald, what? I may sound far-fetched, man, but it's the only possible explanation. I'm probably trying to first in the PD events room. Blood was spilled not once, but twice. But how? One time it was captured on this tape that taken by the security camera. Yep. After Nika put his hand from which a trivial amount uh, of wood fell, the home is the other time. Why do we have to watch this? Hello? Someone bled prior to the struggle from this tape. It had to have been. It had to have been. Detective Godmill, when he was really murdered. That's ridiculous. I refuse to accept your third claim. <laughs> We're really switching this. The murder portrayed in the security table has proved to be fake. However, that does not explain a blood mark found in the locker. So then, assuming this is a murder, you probably thought really happened. When did it take place? I'd have any sure evidence that proves when it occurred. The ID record will tell you, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Then tell us, when did the first incident occur? This! Take that! If they were to place inside the evidence room, then the killer would have had to enter it, and in order to do so, an ID card would have been required. And the only person on that list, at the very top, is the Marshal, no doubt, I bet you. Hmm, let's see here, 4.50pm. If they come to place before that time, then it would be... 4.40. Edgeworth? Miles Edgeworth, just what have you done? I know would have figured you had the no boy. Drop the whack witness. It doesn't take a lot to figure out it couldn't have been me. Hmm? Nope, I ain't getting it. Hmm? I'm a pair of them either. It's clear that from the, the luminol test out blood was there. However, when the second crime took place, Bob often meek enough the marshal fell to notice the blood. That means the blood from the first crime was wiped away by the real murderer. I would have had just ten minutes to murder the victim, or his body away, and clean up the blood and partially that's been physically impossible. That would mean the crime must have taken the place before I drew us head to the room. Let's take a look. It's, it's Marshall. That's Marshall's number, I bet you. There's no wonder. Yep. Talk about a lucky number. But wait, that didn't make sense. How could Detective have entered the good room? Since there's no record of his car being used beforehand, he must have entered along with the real murderer. That's the only plausible explanation. He went in with the seven. <laughs> seven sevens. <laughs> Mr. Edward, please look into the south south. Find out whose ID number is. Seven 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 seven. That's one seven too many, I own it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm unable to look up the owner of that card. At least, at present. What? Explain yourself. The ID number belongs to someone with the rank of captain or higher. Someone who is so-called executive officer. You don't have the authority to inquire into such a person's identity. But that's ridiculous. Just how? I'm not finished talking this right. There is one situation which authority can be granted. If an official charge filed an ex against uh, an executive is accepted, an official charge? You're all alike, aren't you, with your cover-ups and your forgeries? That's how the prosecutor's office operates. I take pride in my world, Marshal. I would appreciate if you would keep your slander to yourself. Slander is it? Okay, let me ask a question, yeah? No, not you, to her, the defense and all that. You're only an executive. Slander? Don't be stupid, she's been charged with murder. Of course we'd be looked up to her ID number and it's not a 7. Don't play with me for a rule, that's not what I want to ask, all I want to know is the one thing about that incident. S on 9? Answer me this, CP. In that trial two years ago, do you really only use legitimate evidence? Oh, damn. Oh, well, here she is. Do you need to witness to repeat his question? I heard him fine, Edgeworth. Two years ago, I was in charge of the prosecution of that trial. At the time, we occasionally we felt the powerlessness of the law. At least I did. At least I did. Barna, mm. I became a prosecutor in order to suppress crime with the law. But before I realized it, we were the ones being suppressed by the law. Defendant, just what are you saying? Alistair Gentry. 
during that trial two years ago. Do you really present all the evidence in court? Can you look at me and uh, uh, investigate that crime in the eye and say that you did? See if you didn't. I don't have to, Officer Marshall. <laughs> Why won't you answer him? Drastic crime requires drastic measures. That's just the way it is. The way we had to. Lana, even if it involved forging evidence. Oh. Everyone. Even the judge. Even him. See? That's what I'm talking about. No. No! <laughs> Everyone shut the fuck up! <laughs> Lana and Mark felt a stir. The chaos in the column could not be quelled. The conclusion of the trial would have to be until the following day. It's so loud though! But, oh my god! <sighs> Alright bro, we're done. We are done. That's... Uh, it's gonna be so fucking long. No. No. It's gonna be so fucking long, I'm not doing it. <sighs> okay, listen. That is gonna be it for the case so far. And I guess this will be a three part instead, alright? Well, it is what it is, man. It's just long as fuck. You're so fucking long. Alright. Looks like we're about to reach our conclusion in the next uh, next one, though. That's for sure. The finale of this episode and the finale of this game. Man, these games are big. <laughs> but so far, it seems like that it's ended up in quite a stir. And it's going to kick off in a stir, it looks like. Maybe by the time we uh, do an investigation for the third day and then the trial for the fourth day i think yeah let's see how this goes for the next time this has been a long one though well it felt like it felt like a long one but this has been um a lengthy amount of information to process like a huge amount of stuff has been uncovered so far and i guess we'll figure that out for i think we'll figure out what really went down especially the sl9 case for the next time so yeah that's me for me then thanks for watching uh, and i'll see you for the next one